It was a bewildering day in court with a suspect's erratic behavior and a victim bursting into tears. And after all was said and done, the judge decided Jason Dalton, the suspect in the Kalamazoo shooting spree, will go to trial. Tonight we're showing you more of what happened in court as one victim faced Dalton for the first time since the night she was shot four times. Deputies led Jason Dalton into the courtroom with his hands chained down. Some had tears, others had anger in their eyes as the man accused of gunning down eight of their loved ones, killing six of them, sat just a few feet away. The cause of death was found to be multiple gunshot wounds. The manner of death was homicide. Dalton nodded, shook his head inexplicably, and at one point suddenly interrupted one of the surviving victims. I seen him coming. And um, I, I um, saw the gun. They gave bags. These old people, they have these old black bags. They're called they're black. They're black bags. And people drive around. Tiana Carruthers flinched and fell into sobs after the outburst. see counsel change. Deputies pulled Dalton from his chair, dragging him away so court could continue with him in another room, only to be seen on a closed circuit TV. Tyler Smith's girlfriend, Alexis Cornish, then described what she saw while she hid in a back seat. Her boyfriend and his father, Rich, were shot and killed right outside the car. They looked at him and they put their hands up and they said, What are you doing? And they fell down. And that's when I ducked behind the seat. So he can look at me. Prosecutor Jeff Getting didn't know what to make of Dalton's odd behavior in court, not knowing if it was all an act. After all, he was found competent to stand trial. Nothing's going to prepare you for what actually happens in the courtroom when the defendant is there. Police outlined forensic evidence, including the officer who helped the other survivor, 14-year-old Abby Koff, before medics arrived. That testimony, a yeah. chilling witness account, and raw emotion. Ms. Carruthers, are you okay? Or do we need to take a minute? The judge heard enough to send Dalton to trial. He pulled out the gun and started shooting. When you say he, you mean the person that you saw come back from your back left and that, that you described earlier? Yes. Do you see the person who shot you on yes, February I do. 20th? Yes, I do. I can never forget his face. Ever. Dalton's attorney wouldn't comment after today's proceedings. He didn't call any witnesses, nor did he have any heavy cross-examination. Although the judge has ruled Dalton fit to stand trial, his attorney can still enter a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. We are also hearing reaction from the father of the youngest shooting survivor. Abby Koff's dad talked about Dalton's behavior in the courtroom, saying that it shows he's insane. Gene Koff said, quote, not only did his actions show this, but his demeanor during the proceedings makes it crystal clear. He went on to say that his family doesn't care about him as long as he's locked up for the rest of his life and that they continue to offer their deepest sympathies to his family. The community continues to stay Kalamazoo strong. In fact, they're coming together for a benefit ride at the Perry Harley Davidson in Portage. That starts at 11 tomorrow morning. All proceeds will go to those affected by the February tragedy. We have details right now online at woodtv.com. And we'll continue to bring you updates on the Kalamazoo shooting ramp rampage as the case against Dalton moves closer to trial. We'll let you know when that date is set.